So, Roboteers, you've been building real robots for over a year. You've collected the magazines, logged on the website, maybe you've bought some of the merchandise. So, what kind of robot have you got? You've got one that follows and avoids light walks the line, avoids people and objects, and follows you around as well. You've got a great looking handset on which you can play games. And you can now operate Cybot via remote control. So what's next? First up, you get Cybot Formula One style. Within just five issues, Cybot gets a brand new aerodynamic look. Race it against regular Cybot and check out how fast it goes. Next, you can start programming Cybot. Just load up CD-ROM 1 and download your first simple program from your PC. The magazine guides you through telling you how and there are step-by-step -step projects as well. So eventually, you'll be able to program Cybot to do pretty much whatever you want. Jonathan! Simple, eh? Cybot will be able to respond to your voice commands. Hello, Cybot. It does this via a great-looking headset. It's adjustable, so it can fit anyone even the boffins. Cybot. Cybot will recognise up to 14 commands in any number of different languages. Get it to move left and right. Run around. Find light. Or follow a line. Later, Cybot will be able to recognize words and any sounds that you may want to program in. Planning Cybot's next stage of development was a challenge for the team. We organised groups of users of various ages and showed them ideas that we had. We looked at what else was on the market. What was hot? And what wasn't? And then? After we listened to everything everyone had to say, we weighed up everything and did what we wanted to do in the first place. Only kidding. Deciding to do Formula One was made easy for us. Everyone we showed it to liked it. We got our designers to adapt the original Cybot design. They needed to be sure that it was aerodynamically sound and that the new parts were light enough to allow Cybot to race. We wanted to give you an alternative to Cybot, and here it is with its aerodynamic shape and Formula One style colours. 
It's got all of Cybot's functions. You can even operate it by remote control. And all of this in just five issues. The programming was planned in the UK. Some of the country's brightest software engineers did the groundwork. This was then adapted by software engineers in China and Taiwan. Everyone agreed that it was important that the CD-ROMs were fun and that the programme started off simply. The tutorials had to be easy to follow. And the magazine had to make everything crystal clear. The programming starts off very simply, allowing you to make Cybot respond to what it detects with its sonar sensors. Later, you gain complete control of all of Cybot's inputs, outputs, and even its internal processing. These are all represented by very simple blocks that you plug together to make the overall program. You can make this as complex as you like, you're actually guided through by very easy to understand tutorials on each of the CDs. You said you wanted voice recognition, so we were pretty sure you'd want a decent headset to go with it. Designing it was fun. But the real work is in the electronics. The voice recognition chip in your handset holds 14 different dependent commands. These are instructions that you give Cybot, which are fixed in Cybot's memory. Cybot, follow me. It can also hold a number of independent commands, which you can set yourself for use in your own programs. Because Cybot is so popular in different countries, it has to speak and respond in a number of languages. Cybot. Cybot. Getting your robot to recognize different languages means we have to record at least 50 voice samples from each country. This means Cybot will always respond to a command wherever you are. Cybot, hey boy. And whoever is speaking. We've now included the very latest microcontroller in the handset to bring about the voice recognition. And it works like this. You speak into the microphone in the headset, the handset then makes sense of what it is you're saying, sends the messages back to the headset, and via the infrared signaling, your instructions are passed down to Cybot so that it understands exactly what you're commanding it to do. All Cybot's components were manufactured in China. Painted, electronically fitted, Checked, packaged, and then shipped. So that you receive your issue of real robots on time, wherever you happen to be. The Formula One kit comes in easy to fit body parts. Fit the bumpers then the replacement shield. Assemble the bonnet and attach it to the new bumper. Add the spoiler. Customise with the stickers provided. And you have a fully functioning remote controllable F1 Cybot. For programming, first add a program interpreter board to the robot, plus an EE-ROM board. This lets you store your programs on the robot. Then fix a display board to the back of the robot. This lets you know which Cybot is yours. Now assemble Cybot's docking station.
Attach the cable to the handset and the PC. Fix the handset and robot in position. Whichever version you like best. Now you're ready to program. The first CD-ROM features three great Cybot games. An easy to follow tutorial. Plus your first programs. You're now ready to download your first simple programs. There are two. The first allows you to change Cybot's direction in response to other objects in its path. The second controls direction and speed using a simple simulator. Program Cybot and download from your PC, then watch the results. Assembling the headset is easy. Assemble the top side and rear piece. And the cable. Next, fit the torch and infrared. The torch enables you to use your headset to direct Cybot. Add the microphone and microphone casing. Next come the three key components. The voice recognition board for the handset. The microcontroller. And the flash memory board. This holds all the dependent words in different languages so you can instruct Cybot in the language of your choice. Now you'll be able to speak to the robot direct. Hello Cybot and you'll be able to record sounds yourself using the microphone on the headset. A second CD-ROM allows you to control every aspect of Cybot's behavior. You can test your programs in an enhanced simulator you'll also be able to swap programs with other users via the Real Robots website. Later, you add a further flashboard to the robot, plus a microcontroller. Fit a new speaker and you're ready to play back sounds you've recorded on your handset. These include your own compositions. Manipulating your own voice. Hi, sign up. Hi, sign up or just sounds you're especially fond of. A further CD-ROM means you'll be able to save all your recordings as sound files in a unique file management library created entirely for Cybot. There's a special blocks programming system, which means you can write advanced programs for Cybot yourself. By this stage, you can get Cybot to do pretty much what you want. So why not sit back and enjoy the results? Becca! <laughs> <laughs>
is that Cybot will continue to grow in popularity in Europe, even as far away as Japan. In fact, Cybot will travel almost anywhere. Real robots. The more you collect, the better it gets. See ya.